Mr. and Mrs. Gully are here. Hi. Hi, Joanne. Paul. Thank you so much for coming in today to talk about Aiden. Well, of course, Ms. Walburn. We love our son, and we hope he's as good in class as he is at home. Well, that's actually what I was hoping to talk to you about. Lately, Aiden has been displaying some interesting behaviors that have made the other kindergarten students rather uncomfortable. Oh, no. That's so surprising. What happened? Well, if I may be frank with you, I believe your son is a fern. <laughs> Excuse me? A fern is a decorative indoor plant no. that... We know what a fern is. We're confused as to how you got to the conclusion our son is on the indoor plant spectrum. Well, there were a couple of signs that were hard to ignore. On the very first day of school, I asked the class to stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone stood up except for Aiden. He just stayed put in his seat. Well, maybe he was just tired. Did you try giving him some encouragement? I tried talking to him privately later, but when I did, it just made his leaves droop. <laughs> My poor baby. Has anything else been happening? Lunch has been fairly difficult as well. Aiden has a habit of, rather than eating his food, he leaves it in the topsoil of his pot for the remainder of the day, which usually creates a distraction when we're back in class. I would do the same thing when I was his age. Another red flag is that he's not very good with eye contact or physical touch. My theory is that this is because he has no eyes and his limbs are branches. I never even noticed that. Well, he, he must be doing well at something, right? He's a star at recess. The other kids place him in the perfect position to catch kickballs, and they fly directly into his leafy palms. See? He's good at sports. A fern will be good at sports. What makes you so sure he's a fern, exactly? I'm glad you asked. Yesterday, at drawing time, he drew this. Jesus Christ. Paul, what have we done? Joanne, you don't need to blame yourself. There's nothing that could have been done to change Aiden from being the way he is. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you know what? This is your fault, Miss Walburn. Excuse me? A fault is the source of blame or I reason. I know what a fault is. Well, she's right. Aiden wasn't showing any signs of being a fern until he got into your class. This reflects poorly on you, Miss Walburn. I understand that you're upset, but there are plenty of schools that would be perfect for Aiden. Schools that have more water and direct sunlight, like a greenhouse. Excuse me? Our son is normal, and if this school is too stupid to see that, we'll just take him somewhere else. Goodbye. Goodbye. Aiden, sweetie, you ready to go? Come on, son. Let's go find you a good school. Excuse me. That's not Aiden. What are you talking about? Aiden is over here. Well, if that's Aiden, then who is this? Nobody, that's just a regular old fern. Ha, 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 ha.